Hey, Quick. Leonard, uh, right. so far, right now the boxing here in Las Vegas, obviously Tim Zhu and uh, Fandura, I didn't expect this to go this far, to be honest with you, but let's just go back to uh, Paul Romero and Pitbull Cruz. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to give it to Pitbull, I'm going to be honest with you, he's stuck in there, he's banged, not a lot of people do that, but uh, what was your overall uh, reaction of uh, Pitbull and, uh, uh, and Romero's outcome? Good, good fight, very, very good fight for the fans. Um, Roly came up short tonight. Congratulations to Pitbull and his team. He fought a very good fight. Do you feel like uh, Roly's on um, overestimated him a little bit? No, no, no. Roly didn't overestimate him. And this is this is boxing. Shit happens. This is boxing. It's not. A, he didn't overestimate him. He was in phenomenal shape. Um, he he did some good things in the fight. You know, he was boxing. You know, he just kind of got away from that from that. But this happens, you know, I'm proud of Roly. You know, he went in there and, and gave it his all. He came up short tonight. That, it happens, this is part of the sport. What fight makes sense for, he's like people cruise next, in your opinion? I don't know, you gotta talk to Sean <laughs> Gibbons and his team. He's a, he's a good fighter, I've always said he's a good fighter. What if, where does uh, Pip, uh, Roly go from here? Because I know there's, there's still fights for him, and let's be honest, there's still many fights for him. 140, you think he'll stay at 140? He even said he might go to 147. What would be next uh, for the plan for Roly? Man, we ain't even thinking about none of that stuff, man. <laughs> he just, he come off of a, a tough loss tonight. You know, again, this is boxing. You know, we're, I'm, I'm not even thinking about none of that. I, I, I'm cons always concerned about the health and welfare of my fighters. He's okay, and that's that. So you have talked to him just moments ago, or you talked to him? I was just, him? just with him. I was just with him. Good spirits. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's fine. He's fine. Again, you, anytime you're in a big event like this, a big fight, um, fight was competitive and very entertaining, and he came up short. Again, congrats to Pitbull and his team. Uh, Leonard, what are these rumors that we're hearing about that possibly Javante coming back in the summer, maybe June 15 in Houston, Texas? Are those rumors a little bit true about facing, uh, obviously, Frank Martin? Are we going to hear that soon? Again, <laughs> Tank Davis, I'm saying the same thing. Tank Davis will let you guys know when he's fighting, who he's fighting, and where he's fighting. Going out to this, uh, to this main event, it's obviously it's probably like the 9th, 10th round right now. Given the winner, whoever it is, Spence said he would like either or. What fight would make sense? Just just your quick analysis of this. Would you like to see Spence and 154 facing one of these two? I like to see Earl do whatever Earl wants to do. Were you a little surprised that uh, Fundora is using his reach come this fight? Everybody expected him to, to come in close quarters and get caught. He's doing pretty well right now. Not surprised at all. I told you guys that, again, it is very hard. If you got 8, 10, 12 weeks to prepare for a 6'6 six, six southpaw who's going to stand there, he's going to throw all night long. You got to find a way to discourage him. He was winning the Mendoza fight every round. Again, he is a tough out for anybody. But I told you guys, I told you guys that he wasn't just going to walk through him because styles make fights. Mendoza is a very good fighter, and Tim, Tim Zhu is a very good fighter. And back to Spence Jr., there's a lot of people that think you should take a tuna fight before getting in with one of these guys. Do you think you should have a tuna fight or go straight for them? A lot of who? A lot of a lot of fans. Okay, fans don't fight for the fighters, okay? So that's something that, you, you know, fans don't fight for the fighters. Earl Spence is going to do what's best for Earl Spence and his family. Last Leonard here, before we let you go, uh, just your thoughts. I know you've probably been asked this a lot, you know, the Haney Garcia fight. What's your ultimate prediction on this fight? Will you be there possibly for that fight? Absolutely run? not. <laughs> <laughs> we always see his most fights. That's why I was just wondering. But what prediction for that? I don't have a prediction. Both very good fighters. The best man will win on that night. Thank you, Leonard. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.